Okay, it is pivot time. In this section, I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how to use pivot tables. We're not going to do any deep analysis, but I will teach you enough to become dangerous using pivot tables. On your vulnerability sample report, we can access the pivot table by going to the insert tab. And there you go, pivot table. The default settings should select all the data and give us a pivot table on a new tab. So we can just go ahead and click OK. As you can see here, a new sheet is opened with a pivot table dashboard. From here, we can aggregate the vulnerability data so that we can make better decisions about what vulnerabilities we have and which ones we ought to prioritize. For this example, let's say we decided that I want to see unique vulnerabilities that impact multiple machines. Let's also say that I'm only interested in seeing critical and high vulnerabilities and don't care about the medium and the low ones for my analysis, at least for now. So the first thing I want to do is isolate the critical and high vulnerabilities. If you go back to your vulnerability sample report, you'll see that the criticality level is listed on the risk. See here, critical, high, low, medium, and none, which is informational. So let's go back to our pivot table sheet, and we will select risk. All the risk levels have been selected but we only want to see critical and high, so we would deselect low, medium, and none. My next step now will be to see the remediation solutions listed for critical and high vulnerabilities. We go back to our report, the solutions are listed under the column called, well, solutions, right there. So my pivot table, I'm gonna go ahead and select the solution checkbox. And as you can see here, all the solutions for critical vulnerabilities are listed, and all the solutions for high vulnerabilities have been listed. But I don't want to see the solutions being segregated. I want to see them being mixed for critical and high. If you look over here to this box in the row section, all the column labels being listed here is what we see being segregated in our report. So for the risk level, I only want to see it being filtered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it over to filter. And now we can see that all my solutions have been mixed together. Now we'd like to see which host, aka computer device, those different solutions apply to. If you look at the main report, let's see, let's just scroll here. You'll see that a host are identified by their IP addresses. On the pivot table, I would check box host. And now would you look at that? All the different hosts associated with each solution has been listed. For example, if we were to apply update KB4056890, we would remediate vulnerabilities in three different machines. So as a system admin, I may want to prioritize this remediation effort over this remediation effort. Because for KB4019472, if I apply that update, I'll only be remediating one machine. So I, I will probably put most of my energy into remediating this and this. And this is just one way of organizing our vulnerabilities. There are many other ways for us to analyze it using the pivot table. I hope this introductory explanation was helpful to you. Most importantly, when performing analysis using pivot table, the first thing you should always do is ask yourself, what statistic do I want to see? Once you determine what you want to see, you can then customize your pivot table to reflect that. I don't recommend just going to a pivot table and just start randomly selecting different categories. You need to apply critical thinking skills to your analysis prior to setting up your table. And that's pivot table in a nutshell. Be sure to play around with it so that you're well versed on how to use it. It's a great knowledge to add to your resume. In the next video, we will discuss how to submit your remediation request to a configuration change board. And then we will talk about how to work with the system admin to remediate the vulnerability. And finally, we will draft a vulnerability report. Stay tuned.